Trey Young is an up and coming plumber out of St. Louis, Missouri. You may not know who Trey is, but there's a good chance you may have seen one of his posts on Instagram. Come with us on American Plumber Stories as we go let him tell his story. Some days I'm working before the sun kisses the sky. I watch the world wake up from the seat of my truck. I'm out here earning my piece of the pie. A good, honest buck. No, it ain't love. I was taught to do the things I do so I don't depend on anyone. I work hard enough through the year so I play whenever I want. I have more than I deserve, including a wife who says I'm hot. Yeah, it's better than a good life that I got. Sometimes getting into the, the plumbing trade is a little harder to do because you need an apprenticeship to get there. So you're going to have to work for somebody else. My name is Matt Basie. I own Plumbing Plus in St. Louis, Missouri. We do a lot of uh, sewer repairs, older home remodels, and rehabs. In this business as a plumber, there's three stages. There is apprentice, there's journeyman and there's masters. Most plumbers start off pretty bad. You know, they, they, you have to show them the level, get everything correct. Most plumbers are pretty good by the end of their apprenticeships. It's a five-year apprenticeship. So, I mean, you really learn a lot of stuff in that five years. If you want to be successful in life, you have to have a work ethic. First off, you want to keep on your job, show up on time. That's hard for people these days, especially young people, because they don't show up. Trey Young works for me. He's been an apprentice here for almost five years, and he takes his, his full license test here in about four months. Well, I kind of consider him like a son. He uh, came to me from my previous work, and uh, he was young, trying to be an apprentice. And I liked his personality, because a lot of people, when they work, they just tend to do what they do right now. But I was teaching him to be a master plumber, not to just be an apprentice at that time. I'm Trey Young. I work for Plumbing Plus out of St. Louis, Missouri. I love plumbing, I love the trade, you know? And I wouldn't have, I would honestly, probably wouldn't do anything else if I had a choice. I just like the way Trey is doing one thing. Trey is just not doing the work himself. He's showing other young kids his age, especially black young kids, because we don't have a lot of them in this field. But seeing him do this, you know, that gives them a chance to say, hey, you know, I know it's hard work, but I can get into this too, because he in there, he working, he's doing what he's supposed to do. He does the things that I taught him, and then he added extra stuff to what he does, like some of the jobs he has done like a three-story house he did and he did it was one of the uh loot vents and he's he caught on to all those different things the little little different things that plumbing takes especially when you're looking at blueprints and stuff like that and then customers tend to change things but he adapts to it and that's what i like about trey he can adapt in the business i grew up in uh, seattle washington and um, traveled a little bit and uh, wound up here in St. Louis, Missouri. I was doing a job site at his mom's house, actually. And one of my employees called in. So it's 110 degrees outside. I'm shoveling a street dirt into a back of a, a dump truck. And uh, his mom came out and said, hey, would you like some help? I was like, yeah, I'd love some help, but my guy didn't show up. He goes, well, I got a young man right here who's willing to work. I was like, okay. Um, how much does he want? And uh, she's like, how much are you paying? And I'm like, ah, crap. So it's like, I'll give you $20 an hour cash to help me out today to you know, help me shovel the street. And uh, he came in and he basically worked for the whole entire day, shoveling on the street at 100, 110, 120 degrees outside in the middle of summer. And uh, I kept working him. I 
I've gotten into a pretty bad uh, motorcycle accident a few years ago. I couldn't actually work or go anywhere. I was pretty much stuck in the house. I started just soldering pipes in my house, making art with that. And I started putting that originally on Instagram just as something to do while I was stuck in the house. And I got a lot of positive feedback from that. So when I finally healed up from the accident, I just decided to continue to film what I do versus my little projects at home. I want to keep it as authentic as possible and just show that I'm literally just filming myself enjoying my job. I get comments from guys over in the UK and Australia. If somebody says I wouldn't have did that, I, you know, I, I may have done it a different way. I'll go try to look into that because that's only helping me grow. And I've actually done that quite a bit. I do different stuff now just because of comments on Instagram, just because I did not know or maybe somebody in my round did not know. Um, so it's definitely even helpful to comment sometimes. My Instagram handle is iplummit, I-P-L-U-M-B-I-T, iplummit. As Trey progresses towards becoming a master plumber, it would appear that he's already mastered bowling. The main hobby after work is bowling. Um, spend time with my children. I mean, that's pretty much number one at this point. So my inspiration uh, for bowling was definitely my grandmother, who was a almost professional bowler, and I watch her bowl almost every night, bowling league. Uh, so that, of course, that's what I wanted to do, and eventually I started taking classes, and then uh, it was just league bowling from there. I think he's probably a very good bowler. Man, when you're in that moment and that ball hits just right on those pins and you get that boom, man, nothing feels better, especially when family's around. Uh, so I went to high school here um, in St. Louis at uh, Sumner High School, uh, which was a very drastic change from where I had came from. There was not really any emphasis on trades. It was all about just getting us, you know, funneled into getting ready to pick and choose and apply to colleges. I mean, we at, in senior year, we spent hours a day just applying to different colleges. So I had uh, originally uh, met Matt um, so I was working for him for a little while, um, and then I decided to go to college uh, for uh, website development. You know, he came back, you know, saying, hey, man, you got work. And it's like that time I didn't have some work. Then I called him up, say, hey, you want to come to work? And he was on another career he's working on. Eventually, we met up in the middle and said, hey, you want to come to work for me? And he's like, yeah, I'm willing to work for a new full time job. And uh, he's been here 40 hours a week ever since for six years. I had dibbled and dabbled into website development a little bit, and um, it just wasn't it, it wasn't paying what what plumbing was paying, even at senior levels. So that that's what caused me to come back. Once you have that apprenticeship, though, you know the sky's the limit if you can get your journeyman license. So you get your master's license, you start your own company, or you work for somebody else as their master plumber. It is a gateway to a $100,000 plus year a year job. I don't think I would have been as happy uh, just because I enjoy plumbing so much. Uh, being in different sites, being in different areas, seeing it's different every single day. Whereas in that field, you are in the same cubicle, drinking the same cup of coffee, looking at the same computer day in and day out. I feel like I honestly have something to give to future generations, which is, you know, if you don't feel like college is necessarily your route, I have something that you may be interested in, which is plumbing or trades in general. It's a good job and with a great pay. Trey used to doubt himself a lot. And I remember that. It was certain things he would doubt himself about and I always would give him the advice. If you want to be successful in life, you have to have a work ethic and you have to, you got to try to find that in yourself. It's hard to explain. It's sometimes you, you're born with it. Sometimes you have to find it, but basically it's just that you have to have pride in what you do. I have like five apprentices under my belt. Trey is the last one. 
and I know he's going to be an excellent plumber, which he is already, but he's going to be better once he get his license. So I'm always checking on him and stuff like that. Master plumber, own business. There ain't no question about it. In five to 10 years after I've reached uh, my limit on licensing, I, I definitely would like to um, try to, you know, put my hand in the ring and try to start my own business where I, you know, can probably tackle most everything I run across. I'm Trey Young, and I'm an American plumber. Fister has partnered with the National Housing Endowment to support the Skilled Labor Fund. You can go to AmericanPlumberStories.com to learn how you can apply for scholarships and help support the fund.